In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to build a simple application with Golang uh, that is self-contained. Uh, so I will show you how to build the uh, folder structures. So by the end of this application, we'll be building a command line tool where you could enter three names and then that inputs the information into a Postgres database that's on a server. So just, just for example, uh, I'm going to just type in Tim Cook. James Bond, and um, let's say Megan Whitman. It's going to list all three of those names that's in the database. And then when I run a query on the server, it lists those three names. So let me just remove this and then we can get started. Okay, so I'm using Go Land by JetBrains. And I'll also be using the package PQ that's on the GoDoc site. In addition to that, uh, I'll be posting the link to the GitHub page to this package. So we need to start by creating three directories. The first one is bin. Uh, the second one is going to be PKG. This is where our packages will be stored. And the final one is SRC. And this is where we're going to store the actual application. Now inside the SRC folder, we want to name a directory the same name that we'll be naming our app. In this case, I'll call it my app. And then I want to create my first file. So I'm just going to select main.go. And I'm going to just change my package name to main. Now that I have my directories in place, I need to set up my environment variables so all my packages will be stored in these folders. So for Mac and Linux, uh, you just want to do, well actually first let me check my Go environment variables. So just Go env, and the two variables we want to change is number one, the Go path. So right now it's set to your default Go directory and we want to just change it to this package. The next environment variable we want to change is the go bin. So go bin will have the files be our final project be installed into the bin folder. So I'm just do export go path equals and now I want to point to this directory that I'm working in currently. So in my case is users wands mapbook and then uh, my GoLand projects in YouTube. Now to set my bin directory, I want to just export go bin YouTube. And for this, I want to extend to the bin directory. Okay, let me just clear this out. And then we can check our environment variables. And as you see, they've been updated for the uh, go bin and the go path. So now when I create my go application, it'll be stored in my bin folder and my packages will be installed into my PKG folder and my source folder. So that's the benefit of setting your environment variables as we did here. Okay, so I'm gonna just clear this out. And the purpose of this tutorial is to how to set up your go land lang file structure. So I'm gonna just copy and paste in the code needed to connect to my Postgres SQL database and I'll be sure that to um, make this code available if you would like to follow along. Okay, so I'll just quickly go through this code uh, line by line. So I'm using the standard database SQL package and then I'm also going to import the GitHub PQ package as we've seen earlier. And I'm also using the standard FMT package. So the PQ package, uh, as we see, is in the uh, Go docs. And I'll be importing it from GitHub. So I'm going to just type in go git github.com and just download the package into my source folder and my PKG folder. Okay, so now I'll just go through the code line by line. I start by creating a main function and then a connection string. This connection string, I use my default Postgres user, uh, the default Postgres database. My password is Mac123456. 
the IP address of my server, and then SSL mode is disabled since I am not using SSL for this connection. Uh, this connect this uh, string can be found on the Go Docs page, and the main difference is I am not using SSL. So from there, I use my driver from the Postgres. I'm getting this from the library we downloaded from GitHub, along with the connection string. Okay, next I'm creating a prepared statement, and that's going to be an insert statement where I'm inserting the first and last name into my uh, YouTube database. And then I'm deferring from closing that connection. I'm creating a new employee object called eName. And then I'm creating my loop, which is will ask for the first and last name three times and assigning the eName, the variable. Okay, from there I create my select statement where I select the first and last name from the database and I defer from closing that connection. I then print out the first and last name of everyone in the database and I format it using uh, printf. So now we could just build. So I'm going to just do go install. Then I'm going to my source folder. My apps main.go. So once that builds, it'll be installed in my bin folder that we assigned in the environment variable earlier. So I am just going to open this up in my file explorer. So now we can test it by entering a few names. So John Smith, Julie Walters, and Alex Jones. It runs, prints out all the names, and now we can check it to make sure it's uh now we can check to make sure it's on the Postgres server. Okay, so everything seems to be working, and that is how you set up a GoLang project and connect to a Postgres database. Thank you.